Hey everyone, I'm coming at you today with another hot dog review video. <laughs> I got the hot dog on the stove right now, boiling in a pot of water. So while it's cooking, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about um, what hot dogs I will be reviewing today. I, ooh, I'm home for the summer, as you can see. Um, I'm still going to school, but only part-time over the summer, so hopefully I'll have more time to make videos, because I know I haven't uploaded one in about two months. But, hot dogs I've got today. I light life brand, and they're called Smart Dogs. Um, let me see. I don't know if these ones are vegan, like the other two I reviewed, the 365 and the Tofurky ones, but let me see. Oh, nope. They're vegan. And they are part of the non-GMO project like Tofurky is. Oh, wait. It says it right there. Certified vegan. Derp. Um, I've had these before. It's been a while ago, though. Probably about a month ago. Um, I first tried these because when I came home for a weekend, I think it was, it actually might have been spring break. Yeah, came home for spring break, and there wasn't really any food in the house for me to eat. So I went to Kroger, and these were literally like the only hot dogs in the vegetarian section. And I really wanted to have a cookout with my family, and we used them on the fire, and it turned out just fine. But uh, yeah, that's why I first bought these. I don't think I've tried any other... Light Life brand products, but the review today will be on the hot dogs. Um, they are mostly soy. I mean, they don't look as healthy as some other hot dogs I've reviewed. I mean, they're not bad though. Um, the ingredients are water, soy protein isolate. Uh, soybean, soybean oil, evaporated cane syrup, and then pea protein isolate, and the rest, it doesn't really matter, because, you know, as it goes down, the less and less that ingredient is in it. But, um, 50 calories, if you care about calories. Um, 330 milligrams of sodium, well, yeah, which is 14% daily value, which isn't bad. Protein, 7 grams, isn't bad, you know. Um, I will say the only thing about these right now, looking at the ingredients, I recently, in my time off of not making videos, I had a problem where soy really messed up my... I don't know, it just messed up my body. I didn't feel good. I was eating it too much. That's not saying that you should stop eating soy. Um, it's just saying that maybe I was eating a little too much. <laughs> um, I was definitely having a good amount of soy each day. And um, I'll go more into that in another video. But, yeah. Okay, I'm back. And the hot dog is cooked. And it looks like this. It has um, ridges on it, similar to the 365 brand. Um, I will say it kind of, or maybe that's my fault. No, that's my fault. I was going to say that it breaks apart a lot easier than normal hot dogs, but that right there, that's from when I cut it with a knife trying to get it out. Hi, AJ. Do you want to try a piece and what? give your thoughts? What brand is it? It's Light Life. What? Light Life, the one that's from Kroger. Where do you had that? I already had that. I know, but do you want to try, like, tell people what you think of it? Oh, it's hot. It just came off the stove. But I gotta go to work in like 10 minutes, so I'm trying to... Yeah. Okay. I remember last time I kind of pulled it apart to show the stretchiness. So I'll do that again. This one isn't... So it's pretty average in stretchiness. Okay, I'm going to rip it apart. That's what she said. <laughs> and that's what it looks like on the inside. Looks like a, I think it looks like a hot dog. Looks like a wiener. Yeah, it looks like a little wiener. A little wiener. Anyway. I'm going to try it now. AJ, right. come try this. Okay. 
Okay. You can definitely taste the soy in it. So if you're not a soy person, this brand may not be for you. I wouldn't say it's bad. I like the texture. But you can definitely... Did you say bread or brand? Brand. I thought I heard bread. But you can definitely taste the soy. Um, it doesn't have a really heavy, distinct flavor of anything. Um, it actually tastes a lot like tofu. Like it... It pretty much is tofu. <laughs> I mean, it's good. I'm going to buy it again. But, like I said, if you're not a soy person, you probably wouldn't like this. I wouldn't recommend this brand to someone who's just transitioning over to vegetarianism. I did try one brand, and if I can get my hands on it, I want to review for you guys. They have a brand at my school um, that they have in like the dining hall, yeah, called um, Worthington, yeah, Worthington Food Brand Veggie Dogs. They're really unhealthy. Like, these... These are like 50 calories or something, you know, not too much salt. They're pretty good for you. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> the Worthington brands, they were like 217 calories for one of them, and, but they taste exactly like a hot dog. So I would say that the correlation in these vegetarian hot dogs that I see is that as, as the healthier they get, the less they taste like an actual hot dog, which makes sense because actual hot dogs are really, really, really unhealthy. So if you're looking for like the shape of a hot dog, you can grill this and put it over a fire. Um, and the texture is pretty good. And if you were to put like ketchup or mustard on it and put it on a bun, I'm sure you wouldn't be able to tell the difference that much, but just eating it straight like I am, you can tell like, oh, it isn't a real hot dog. It pretty much tastes like tofu. But I would I would give this like a 7 out of 10 stars. I like this brand. I know a lot of other people like it too. So, yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.